Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a get ready with me with new products. Um, some of these are brand new and some of these are just new to me. But I figure there are so many things here, I don't even know where to begin to start a review on them. So I'm like, I'm just gonna use them for you. We shall see together how they perform. Um, see these cute little earrings? They are Kate Spade. They're what they call ear crawlers. You know, they go up here and I'm like, oh, these are so cute. I haven't worn them in a while. I'm gonna wear them. They are so annoying. <laughs> I mean, I love them, <clears throat> but I cannot wear them like this. That is not my dog barking. I'm gonna start by smoothing my lips with this super cute Nug, Nug, umlaut. Nug sent me this. They have, it's a new lip scrub. Vegan, totally animal friendly, made in the USA, all natural, organic, all that good stuff. Smells like vanilla. It isn't the kind you like eat off your lips. You do have to wipe it off, but it's a lip scrub and I'm going to just smooth my lip area. I don't know, I'm talking like that. How cute that is. I'm gonna just take them out. Bye. How cute they are. God, those are so cute. But I'm just gonna wear them dangling. I'm not gonna wear them around my ears like that. Okay. I am going to try this new No Pore Problem primer from Touch and Soul. I got it off uh, Sephora. I love Touch and Soul. They are a brand made in Korea. This was only $18. Um, you get an ounce. But I just feel like for a Sephora primer that, you know, the Benefit Professional isn't cheap. It's fabulous, but it's not cheap. Um, and I love my J1 Jelly Pack, but that's $40, although I know you guys are getting it on Amazon, and that's great. Um, so I am just going to put some of this on. This is supposed to be pore minimizing and just smoothing light and silky texture it diminishes pores and fine lines. So I'm gonna see if this like makes my makeup last longer or how it really does with the pores because I want to like it. I like the brand, I like the price. It's kind of exciting. Okay, so I have a new beauty sponge here from Revlon I picked up and I am just so, freaking curious about this. It feels really stiff. Ooh, thanks, it comes with a free case. It comes with plastic. It does have a ventilated bottom, so that's nice. Sometimes my family thinks I have a ventilated bottom. It has this really flat angle right here. It's pointed and it kind of has this beveled edge and then this is round. I don't know, this looks really hard, like I'm not sure how much it's going to get squishy when it gets wet, but we'll give it a try. By the way, my lips feel so nice and smooth. Mm. Okay, I should put some balm on them actually. Okay, so let's see here, super squishy, feels like a memory foam mattress. We're going to try this Chanel foundation. This is La Tien Ultra Tenue Fluid Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. I got shade 22 Beige Rose. I got this from Neiman Marcus. My friend, uh, she's like, this is new, you know? And I'm like, is it? Because I have not seen it before. The packaging looked different to me, but I don't know. And I've tried this on Snapchat before. I don't know if you guys have seen me on there do it. I think I've done it on Snapchat before. So let's give it a shot. I, I'm gonna put it on. I don't know why for a second I was like, I knew at this, like I'm looking at, like, what do I do? Okay, let's try this Revlon sponge. <laughs> um, so foundation seems fine. Uh, the sponge is really weird. 
I will say this, this is probably an excellent concealer sponge. Look at the reach in the corner with this. For my face in general, nah, eh, no. I'm gonna take my 10 buck brush and I'm gonna put, <laughs> with my $10 brush, I'm going to put this $65 foundation on. Oh yeah, I love the way Chanel smells. And I'm gonna just say that the brush side is looking textured up close. Uh, despite not liking that sponge, it did a better job smoothing on the product. Honestly, you guys, this foundation for me is a pass. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to recommend to spend $60 on it. I love other foundations for $60 like Giorgio Armani, but this one, I think I'm going to try the people, you guys have asked me to try the, the matte, the Aqua Lumiere foundation. I will gladly try that one. Um, and last year's healthy uh, mat that they launched is so nice so I still stand by that one so this one I think might kind of soften and you know melt down a bit better but right now I'm not like going oh wow this is so great if a foundation you know you have to work with it so much it's kind of like really why are we doing this I have the Urban Decay Skin Shape Shifter Palette and I saw this at Ulta and I picked it up in the light medium um, one. And when I swatched the powders, they felt really nice on the back of my hand. I don't know, it's almost like some of these are even too light for me, which is weird because I feel like this is almost too dark as a contour shade. And then this is way too light as a corrector shade. So I'm like, mm, really? Um, and then you've got your bronzers. This is actually a, not bad. This is really pretty. Check this out. That's nice. That's nice. And then this is a nice, I kind of use this to blend. It's sort of a, it's like a matte highlighter. So it goes good over the highlighter to blend. This is a Real Techniques sculpting brush. And I'm going to put it in this dark um, contour. That's like crazy, right? It's got good pigment. Um, you know, I mean, no complaints in terms of, wow. But now I'm really going to have to work on that. <laughs> so, yeah. So what I'm going to do with this is take my foundation brush and just go over the next cream color and kind of clean it right here. It's kind of, I don't know if you call this reverse contour. I don't know what you call this, but I like to kind of just cut out the line more take another Real Techniques brush and I'm going to put it in this corrector. It's kind of beigey, but if you look, it's really pale, but maybe it does the job to cancel out the gray inner corner here. I am going to take this Pure Cosmetics Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer Pen. Look at that and I've played with it. I've pushed the product up. It's definitely a pen that you twist up and it is shade light. The claims are that it is, well, it says four in one. So what are the four things you do? Write off dark spots and imperfections with skin perfecting serotonin complex and our light diffusing diamond complex. Okay. So I guess it's supposed to help with um, just any kind of discoloration and, you know, darkness, pigmentation, that kind of thing. So we shall put it on right there. A 
let's set things with powder. I ordered from Jet.com, not sure if you guys have done that before, but it's kind of like Amazon, and I found this Bourjois Loose Powder. Did I share this with you guys yet? I don't know. I'm feeling very forgetful these days. <sighs> I'm feeling like nothing is wowing me. I'm going to take this new Physicians Formula bronzer. It is so pretty in the pan. It had a spray over. Do you see how shimmery that is? It looks like a Givenchy or a Dior or something like that. And the spray over was so intense, but I actually am glad it's worn off. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it and warm up everywhere. <laughs> And now that it still leaves a sheen, but it doesn't kind of leave this crazy chunk of glitter. Um, and it was doing that. So I have, do I have new primer? Yes, I do. Uh, this is not new, but it is from Gabriel Cosmetics. I bought it at Whole Foods. Gabriel is gluten-free, vegan cruelty free, it's bunny approved, it's PETA approved. So we like it. Uh, this is very pale. And they had another one for lips, which I actually wanted to buy because the shade to me, I thought was a bit better for my eyelid. But hey, do you see how white that is? Yeah, it's the only one they have. Neutral is the shade. And they might as well just say, pretty freaking light because that's in my opinion. You know what? I am going to warm that up with, I am going to take this shade right here. Um, kind of go in my crease. That's what's fun with some of, you know, face palettes have so many uses. You know, I've used um, palettes like this before where I just use the sort of taupey contour shade for my brows. Um, you can really get some multi-purpose use out of them. Maybelline has new city palettes. They're mini palettes. And this one is called The City. No, I'm sorry. They're The City Mini Palettes. And this one is Rooftop Bronze. This was the only one left on the display. Um, I can't tell you what others there are. Um, you'll have to just check out and see. But these are all metallic or shimmers. So um, I have to say, we've always dissed on Maybelline for their nude palettes. These look really, really nice. Um, I'm surprised. So this kind of glittery peachy one right here, and then this one, they're pretty. Guys, they're so, look at that, woo! So I'm gonna fill in with these. Hair everywhere, okay. So I'm using kind of the, you could call it the copper shade. Use uh, that really dark, dark, dark brown. Just kind of in the corner here. I'm trying to also be careful that I don't kind of had to build that up, but not bad. not bad. Let's take this pencil brush and put it in that really sparkly peach. Let's see what we get. Normally I do this like with fingers. Okay, I'm impressed. This reminds me of the glow down that 
Maybelline single shadow that I really really like this uh, texture and wear to me is what that feels like new blush not only Maybelline's like really going all out with new stuff um, let's play let's see this shade is called coral <laughs> it's very very not there wow does anybody else see that I don't see that hmm oh, okay then I'm going to give this stellar powder it's cosmic face powder in haze stellar is a new line at Sephora this is supposed to be a finishing powder I don't think it's quite, a, I mean, um, it's mostly just talc and silica, but this is like got a tiny pink tint to it, and I'm going to give it a try. It might be a little bit like, um, you know, the Becca Blur powder is what I was thinking. So I'm just going to take this Sonia Kashuk, let's put a little in here. I mean, I know I already powdered with the bourgeois, but the reason what I love about the Becca powder is I put it on at the end and I feel like it gets everything just molded together, you know, like it gives your makeup such synergy. Ooh, big word. <laughs> so I think this is nice. My gosh, it's super fine, like really, really fine. I am going to put this Stila Smoky Storm glitter on. This is not new, but I mean, it's kind of new. Um, I have seen everyone play with these. I'm pretty much convinced everyone loves them. And I've tried to find a dupe and I thought, well, what better way to find a dupe than to buy one? And it's Smoky Storm and it's, just a super intense it's kind of got a gold gray to it so the thing with these is you want to put them on at the end you do not want to do any more to your eyeshadow once you've put this on because you might disrupt the glitter I've only worn it on the back of my hand I will say that on the back of my hand once it dries and sets it's really not going anywhere it doesn't chunk off it doesn't flake or so let's see how it does on the face. But I'm gonna just press it along. Oh boy. Oh, oh dear. I mean, I'm in love with the Jouer Skinny Dip palette. And in a way, these, those are kind of like this. Oh. Now I just need to make sure it dries because the way my eyes are hooded, I will totally transfer product. Okay, I am going to let that dry because I want to make sure it is set and not going anywhere, but I'm kind of in love and I'm going to put on some mascara and eyebrows and then we'll come back and I'll talk lips. I almost forgot highlighter and Milani has new strobe light instant glow powder so we need to try this I could put on the Urban Decay highlighter from the palette but you know let's just do this Chapeau! this kind of looks like a dupe for Saint Tropez or skinny dip I'm sorry Jouer Maybelline has these new Superstay matte inks, and this shade is 15, lover. And does the shade really go with my look today? I don't know. This feels nice. I don't know what I think about this. Has anyone else um, has anyone else worn these Maybellines? There, it's 
I'll give it a few minutes because maybe it needs to dry down and then it'll feel better. But let's look at the eyes. I'm excited. But if you have very sensitive eyes, I don't think I would recommend the Stila Metal Glitter uh, and Glow. Uh, I can feel it. So you know how certain ingredients just kind of create a presence known? That's how I feel with these. Well, you guys, okay, I think I'm ready for, I'm finished in my get ready with me. Um, let me give you a rundown of some things that I feel. Still don't know about this lip. It's still really weird. Okay, the foundation is kind of okay. Not worth $60, in my opinion. I think the primer is really nice. Naked Skin, the Shape Shifter palette uh, is nice. Um, I'm feeling really contoured, and uh, it's pretty good I don't know though you know like I don't know if I'm just like wow yeah spend $45 for it um, but if you're interested in a contour palette it's kind of nice to have both powder and cream the eyeshadows I'm really impressed with these Maybelline City shadows I think are really nice um, I really love the way it turned out I love the Stila Glitter. That turned out fabulously. I was not thrilled with this Fit Me Blush. Um, this Milani strobe stuff is insane. This Stellar Powder is really pretty. That sponge was... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was weird. I did like the way it got in there. I mean, that is pretty cool. It's not a good foundation sponge. It's a good concealer sponge. So, I will list everything below. Oh, and my little Nug scrub. I love little Nug. Nug, you're so cute. Okay, so I will list everything below. Um, I will give you notes below in terms of how things wore. Still don't like the lip product. Uh, there we go. Oh, and the concealer, the Pure Cosmetics Concealer is very nice. I will see how it wears. I, it's not creased or anything. Um, and it's not terribly opaque. Like it has a little bit of sort of, you know, it's it's got a softer natural look to it. So that might be great for folks. Um, you know, not all of us want just this like um, just heavy thick concealer. Oh, you know what? The eyeshadow primer, I like, except it did not blend well up by my eyebrows. I had to kind of correct some of that. So, <laughs> there you are. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Let me know if you like this because I see YouTubers do this where they have new makeup and they're just trying it on for you for the first time. and. And I know there's not a whole lot of feedback I can give you, but I think sometimes it's just fun to play with makeup. So let me know if you like this, and I hope you subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.